look at all these Blofeld movies. They're all out of order. If you could go back and you could rearrange them, if you could fan edit all this into proper order, it yeah. should be not seeing him up until you only live twice, and then we have our reveal, and then he gets away. Then Diamonds Are Forever, where it opens with him looking for Blofeld with all the plastic surgery stuff, kind of bringing about this idea that Blofeld can change, right? He can have a mm. different face, and that makes him more elusive. Then leading to Honor Majesty's Secret Service, where it opens up with like, well, you haven't found him for two years. It's like, well, obviously, because this guy is a lot slipperier than we thought. And then that would, of course, explain why Bond doesn't recognize him when he's, you know, looking him right in the face. And then, you know, you could still have your Tracy Bond stuff there, leading then to For Your Eyes Only with, you know, visiting the gravesite and all that. And the fact that he's in a neck brace going from Honor Majesty's Secret Service to For Your Eyes Only, as opposed to Diamonds Are Forever, where he suddenly doesn't have a neck brace, but then it just comes back. But all that stuff is so out of order. It's yeah. so weird the way it, it turned out. And, you know, if only it could be switched around. And like we always talk about, I have no doubt in my mind that it's always the same Bond. This is always an argument, right? Like, is it the same Bond that we get for 20 films or whatever? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Duh. Like, why, why yeah. wouldn't it be? But, um, but little changes like that would solidify that. You know, you have all these things connecting them, but it would, Blofeld would really solidify that whole flow. There is one part to that scene that makes me audibly laugh out loud like properly which doesn't happen very often during bond films but uh when he's like all right keep your hair on and just pats him on the head like <laughs> outside of the helicopter <laughs> window <laughs> and, uh, he's just so obviously like a, a dummy right before he drops him down it's just i mean at yeah. that point uh, he's perfect. just a kevin mcclory proxy like yeah. they're just they're just belittling him as much yeah. as they can before they brutally murder him including i mean him yelling out the delicatessen line it, it just makes him sound lame. Made of stainless <laughs> you know? like, steel. 